What is up fellow commanders, my name is Taronis, and today I wanted to bring you a step-by-step -step guide on how to farm meta alloys. Maybe you want to unlock Felicity Farseer and don't feel like paying 100,000 credits to do so, or you want to help others unlock her and give them out, or maybe you want to make friends with Thargoids. For those of you who are more familiar with long distance travel and planetary landings, I will include a timestamp if you don't want to listen to me talk nonstop for 20 minutes. All you will need for this is a ship with a decent jump range, an SRV bay, also known as a planetary vehicle hangar, and a detailed surface scanner. Next, we'll need to pick a system where there are known active Thargoid barnacle sites. You want to be absolutely sure you don't head to depleted barnacle sites because you will get nothing. Uh, the system I have chosen is Pleiades Sector HRW D166. I chose this system because the Thargoid barnacle site is relatively close to a star. Uh, note that this is about 250 or so light years outside the bubble. Okay, 450. Cough, cough. Um, so it does take a long time to get here if you are a newer player. So now that I'm here in the system, I am looking for planet A3. It happens to contain a Thargoid barnacle site. So as you can see, 600 and so light seconds from the star, and I'm already headed there now. So I'm going to go ahead and throttle up and make my way there. Now for those who don't know, uh, meta alloys are actually what Thargoid ships are supposedly made of. Um, if you have meta alloys and a Thargoid quote-unquote pulls you over in hyperspace, which is hyperdiction, uh, you should give them to them or they will kill you. Um, but that doesn't mean they're not friendly. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to this planet and we're going to get our surface scanner ready because uh, as you'll see in my nav panel here I don't have any indication that there's anything Thargoid on here. So when we get nice and up close we're going to do a quick surface scan and that will actually reveal the locations of the barnacle sites for us. Uh, this is nice because we used to have to just follow coordinates and that's a pain in the butt. Alright, so the way I like to do it is I'm at 0.5, so I'll drop it to 50% throttle. And then when it hits about 0.15 light seconds, I will drop it to 25% throttle. And then as soon as we get out of the light seconds and into megameters, I drop to zero throttle. Let's see, four probes. So what you're going to do is just pop one at the middle. And you see those little lines inside the circle? What that means is if I shoot it right there, it'll end up on the very tip-top horizon of this planet. I don't really need to do that, because it's going to explore uh, a lot of the front face of that planet. So what I actually need to do is get one behind it. So I want to aim about twice as far, say about there, as where that is from the dot. And I want to actually do maybe one more. Actually 58%, we'll see if that hits 90% and does a full scan. There we go, how nice is that? Alright, so up our speed a little bit, and now, look at that. We have six Thargoid barnacle sites on this planet, and three biological sites. So let's go ahead and select the nearest one. That looks pretty good. And for planetary approaches, uh, I usually go about 50% throttle and just hang out there. And if you want to get rid of that blue orb, just switch out of your analysis mode and we can see what the planet actually looks like. Looks like there's a cool polar ice cap up there. Right, and then right around 65 kilometers, we should enter glide. There it goes. And you'll notice it actually deselected our site, so we want to go in here and reselect it. There we go. Now we know what to aim for. Just make your way down, uh, probably about 
four kilometers away, it just dropped to half throttle. And it should, depending on how good your thrusters are, be enough to break you. Go ahead and break earlier if you don't think that's going to be safe for you. Right, and so we have... Oh, this is a good one. This looks like uh, a site with four meta alloys. I could be wrong. Could just be two. Right, so what we want to do is come over here and we want to park our ship facing away because our SRV will be facing to our reverse when we land. Right, and so landing on a planet is not easy. Um, they're not all nice and flat like this, so sometimes you kind of have to wiggle around until you get it the right color. So, you know, this one is obviously fine, but drop your landing gear, hover, even, and just, I'm about 25 meters off the surface, just kind of gently tap on your downward thrusters, and there we go. Uh, sometimes you do have to, when you're some of your landing gear will be touching the ground. Just kind of hold your downward thrusters and it will level you out. Okay, so now press your three key, go to your SRV, hit space, and deploy. And as you can see, thanks to us parking facing away, uh, it is easy for us to see where they're all at. Uh, if you land and you cannot find the site, it will be right there in your nav panel, you know, 400 meters away right there. So, from here, I can see there's some meta alloys right there. Let's just make your way on over. And this is a large barnacle with a ripe meta alloy. And you can target these, um, but as you can see, the turret tracking is a little wonky. So, I would recommend you go into turret mode, which is U by default, and shoot it about 10 times. Select it which by default should be right click and then cargo scoop which default is home and just drive over it and there you go I've got one meta alloy if you just want to unlock Farseer you can just go ahead and get in your ship and leave and head to Desiat right now um, it is easier to just aim at the base of it and shoot a couple times uh, I think that one's gonna troll us maybe not if you can get your wheel over it Usually you can pick it up. There you go. Okay. So right there, our cargo is full. The SRV can only carry two tons of cargo. So we're going to head back to our ship, get out of turret mode, hit a rock. <laughs> These low gravity planets, when you hit things, it's uh, always entertaining. Right, and we want to get under our little boarding port. And just kind of inch our way until down at the bottom right. Boop, there it is, board ship. So now, hit your three key, hit space on your SRV, go to transfer cargo, and you want to select both the meta alloys. And they won't actually transfer until you hit the transfer button. So right there, hit three key again, we are good, our cargo will hold is empty. We are good to turn around and go get the other two. Now I am collecting these to do some Thargoid recordings, so I'm going to try and get about 10, hit another rock. Uh, so I will show you guys how to refresh the site after you have harvested all the metal as it has. Looks like this one has five. So same as before, shoot it a couple times, target it, cargo scoop open, just drive over it. Same thing. So, you know, you can actually get pretty quick with this. Oh, is this one going to troll us? No, it's going to roll out. So there's one more here. So the same as before, head back to the ship. Try not to hit that rock this time. Same as before, board ship is lit up. Transfer cargo, select both. Hit transfer, all right, we're good, we're empty. Oh, and if you're wondering why uh, driving the SRV is actually easy for me, I would desperately recommend you change your driving controls to W is forward thrust, S is reverse thrust, and set your drive assist off. Uh, drive assist on pretty much 
constantly makes you spin out and it makes the SRV very hard to control like oh so if I just set a throttle if you know my instinct is to hold W to go faster so I'll hold W and now the issue is when I want to slow down it takes a long time whereas here I can just go as fast as I want and then hit the brakes hard and ta-da all right board ship is lit up uh, so this time we're actually going to board the ship. This will automatically transfer the cargo. Because we are going to relog and we don't want our ship to move. So when you relog, uh, the instance you're in will actually be uh, refreshed. So hopefully all those five meta alloys should reappear. So same as before. 3 key, SRV, deploy. Um, there is a setting to turn off drive assist by default. I would suggest you do that. Otherwise, you will have to turn off, turn off drive assist each time. All right, so I can see from here they have respond. So I'm going to go ahead and just branch the pop in the turret mode and open my cargo hatch. go freed one up Same here right, we've got two uh, and if anyone's wondering what these are these smaller barnacles actually have grade one or two um, engineering materials like see there you go phosphorus and that'll give you uh, three units of a grade one engineering material um, sometimes you can get lucky and these things will actually drop like five or six of them uh, iron it's another grade one so, it, these are actually a semi-decent place to farm grid bun engineering materials, or raw materials, because you can just keep relogging and farming and relogging and farming. Right, oh, so your turret will automatically stop when you get close to your ship. So, same as before, drive under, link, board ship, transfer cargo, select both, hit transfer, okay, SRV is empty. hit your landing gear because its hitboxes are terrible. Go over these rocks. I feel like doing a burnout. Same as before. Shoot the spire. Select. Scoop. I mean, as you can see, once you get used to this, it's uh, on the second nature. I, I like to goof around and do flips and stuff and make a little fun of it. There you go, so this is a good example. Uh, this one gave us iron, nickel, and sulfur all in one uh, small ripe spire. And you do have to select those as well when you're around. I am full, right? Yes. So I will just be coming back to grab this one more and we will be all done. That is the tutorial on how to farm meta alloys. Um, if you feel like making money like this, it's not a terrible way to make money, but I think Void Opal Mining at this point is, you know, kind of top dog. Oh, didn't hit the brake good enough there. So there you go. Transfer. One more. One more, and we're good to go make friends with Thargoids. This looks like a good one. It's got a couple ripe ones on the outside. Two of these. Oh, there you go. Four and one, I believe. So yeah, if you need grab one engineering mats, this is a good way to do it. So if I wanted to farm more, I would just head back to the ship and relog again and repeat the process. But I only need ten, so that's all I'm getting. I hope this video was helpful for anyone who wants to do some engineering or make friends with Thargoids or just wants to learn about the game. Hope you all have a fantastic time playing Elite Dangerous.